we're going to be continuing the discussion on differential equations. As we've seen, differential equations allow to model many things appearing in a wide range of fields. Hence, there are many different types of differential equations and also many ways of solving them. For this reason, solving differential equations remains an important field of research. Given that different methods are used to solve different types of differential equations, differential equations are categorized. They are firstly categorized in terms of the order of a differential equation. The order of a differential equation is the order of the highest derivative in the differential equation. Here's an example of a first order differential equation. And this is the model that allows to um, model population growth. So the rate of change of the population is proportional to the population size itself. And here's another example of a first order differential equation. And this model allows us to model population growth with a carrying capacity C. And here's a, uh, an example of a second order differential equation. In this section, we're going to focus on a specific class of first order differential equation that has the following form. This class of first order, first order differential equation is said to be separable because um, the x variables and the y variables can be separated and brought to different or to opposite sides of the equation. And here are a few examples of first order separable differential equation. So y prime is equal to x times y. And this differential equation can be rewritten as, and when we separate the variables we obtain. And this now um, ties link with what we know about differentials because dy and dx are treated just as if they were variables. And the dy remains on the left and the dx it goes to the right. So we're now going to see the method of separation of variables, which is the method used for solving differential equations of the type. dy over dx is equal to f of x times g of y. The first step is to separate the variables. And when we do so, we obtain the following. So dy over g of y is equal to f of x times dx. And the second step is simply to integrate both sides. And when we do so, we obtain, so the integral of the left-hand side uh, equal to the integral of the right-hand side. And when we integrate both sides, we obtain our unknown function y as a function of x. Let's now consider the following example. So we have the differential equation y prime is equal to 5y. And in A, we're asked to find the general solution. In B, the particular solution when y of 0 is equal to 4. So we begin by rewriting the differential equation with um, the differentials. So y prime becomes dy over dx. And now we use um, separation of variables and we bring the y's to the left and the x's to the right. And now we integrate both sides. So on the left hand side we have the integral of dy over y which is equal to ln absolute value of y and on the right hand side I have the integral of 5 dx which is equal to 5x and we're going to add a constant here on the right hand side. Note that this constant includes the constant that was generated by the integral on the left hand side. So now we need to solve for y and we do this by finding e to the power of the left hand side is equal to e to the power of the right hand side and e to the power of ln absolute value y is equal to absolute value of y and now on the right hand side I have e to the power of this sum so this becomes the following product so the base is e and the base is the same so the powers add up, right? That's why this here is equal to this here. Now EC is itself a constant, so we can rewrite this like this. Okay, and now if we look at the right-hand side, this function here can never be negative. And K is not a negative number either, because K is equal to E to the power C. So this allows us to eliminate the absolute values. So we have now y is equal to k e to the
to the power 5x. And this is our general solution. So now let's find the particular solution. So I simply use the condition that's given here, plug in 0, make the result equal to 4, and solve for k. So y now evaluated at 0. It's when I replace x with 0, so I get the following. 5 times 0 is 0, and e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So this here is equal to k. And now we make this result equal to 4. So k is equal to 4. So now our particular solution is simply y is equal to 4e 5x. And this concludes the presentation on separation of variables.